All right, everyone. I right, so Jamal Sells has come out and said that he's been playing with an injury the last uh, couple of months or so. Well, well, I say a couple of months, five, six months of injury that he's been playing for the pain barrier. And you, you've got to, you've got to applaud that. You know, the Sun broke the story surprisingly, and then the club in Newcastle officially uh, confirmed that he was having a, a double hernia operation. Jamal Sells obviously tweeted a photo of him having the opera about to go on the operating table and. You've got to you've got to applaud that commitment. You've got to yes, I'm, I've been a critic of Lascelles since since he got in the team, even under McLaren. Used at home probably the same. The majority of years, a lot of years in the comments box will probably say the same. Uh, that is that he was a critic of his. But in, you now think that the mentality of your captain playing for the pain barrier for four or five months is absolutely fantastic. You've got to say that's that's phenomenal. That's that's leadership right there. And you've also got to. Give a quick little shout out to Little Vernon and Anita playing for the pain barrier as well the last two two weeks or so. It's a different kind of like mindset that Rafa's got with this side than what the previous regime, because previous regimes you could even say even before McLaren, that the likes of Newcastle having injuries 10, 11, 12, you know, and Rafa's brought in obviously uh, specialist sports scientists, you know, nutritions and so on and so on. And it's paid dividends. You've got players playing for the pain barrier. Rafa's very cautious. You remember people who have niggles, he won't risk them, but... Whatever reason, he's risked Jamal Lascelles and has paid off. You know, we're promoted. It's fantastic courage, it really is. Because when you step on the pitch and you're suffering with pain, it plays on your mind. I don't care if you're professional. That'll play on your mind continuously through the game. Say if you've got like five minutes spell without the ball and you're hurting. That'll play on your mind whether you're on painkillers or not. It will It'll affect your performance. And I've been critical. I have. I've been critical of making three or four mistakes, costing us points. You know, and you've got to applaud that. Moving on, we're going to switch the attention now to Rolanda Aaron, who was uh, so was at Newcastle Crown Court today, down by the quayside. He has a quick video of him leaving. So the prosecuting team have turned round and said that they want to possibly switch the venue. Yeah, listen to this. I have a switch the venue. Or get more people on the jury because he's looks like he's going to be facing trial. Now the reason behind that is because the prosecutor is worried. Yeah, yeah, worried about too many Newcastle fans being on the jury. Really, or Sunderland fans in that matter persuading the uh, the verdict, which is a little a little bit unheard of. I haven't really heard this before because we've seen players in the past go to court. And he would suggest that we'll switch it to Middlesbrough, the Teesside area, but that's a bit, a bit mad, isn't it? But we'll keep you up to keep you up to date with the Orlando Aaron story, and that's not great news, and now, but it's we're, we're part of a fan channel. We need to give you the news, you know what I mean? Um, so there'll be another video out later on today as well about fans arguing uh, over in the sixties. That's quite funny. Keep an eye for that coming later on tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.